lights, camera, action. Hello everybody, welcome back to An Artist Travels. My name is Nikkei and yeah, welcome back to A Day in the Life. I've literally just decided to pick up this camera and record so yeah we've been yeah it's like unplanned it's very spontaneous today um yeah but i'm looking forward it's a beautiful day i say i mean it's raining but you know i'm saying it's a beautiful day by virtue of being alive it's actually so much easier to record now that i can prop this camera up but anyway welcome back to the channel um i feel like different i'm all wearing makeup today i feel like y'all don't see that very often if you like my hair i just finished twisting it this morning so that's what i've been doing and there's a short film idea i had like two days ago very recently and i'm just really excited to flesh it out today so that's what i'm going to do i'm excited um but first of all i am hungry so i'm gonna go buy some food from the shop eat and then let's get down to business to do all the work Benzies and B cause it's co 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 C O A L it's time to stay at the C O A L L Hello! Okay, so I have managed to do quite a bit now, so I'm going to take a quick break. I can feel my energy just flagging. It's so grey outside, look. Look how grey it is. Uh, what is that? What are those? So yeah, I might have to do something just to get my energy back up. Like a dance party or something. I'm just not feeling just not really think so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna do some writing and that'll make me that'll put me in a very good mood so let's do that <laughs> so i'm not gonna lie i'm a bit of a purist when it comes to like drinking and writing like i'm just very like even the smallest thing you know how like people have like a glass of wine of their lunch it's like not a deep thing like i'm just like why would i ever have like a glass of wine or like something when i'm writing something creative i understand it for like maybe a blog post i'm writing it in the evening i'm chilling maybe like a glass of wine but for some reason if i'm writing something creative i'm just like i don't want anything like affecting my mind i'm i'm really i don't know it's really extra because um you know actors have a really bad reputation i think for drinking and writing but i'm just so like no <laughs> um having said that today i have a little bit of cider um and it's not for any reason of like oh it's gonna boost the creativity it's just i'm um, having cider so um but yeah i don't know is anyone else like that i feel like i'm really weirdly strict about that for some reason i'm like no nothing will get in the way <laughs> of the writing oh my gosh okay i need to put you down so i can open this oh my gosh balance balance so smooth Okay, we're just gonna start recording. <laughs> Was not ready for that. Um, I'm just sitting here with my back against the radiator because it is cold, okay? No judgment, I'm just on the floor, chilling. I got a blanket, we're all gonna be very warm. So I thought I'd just tell you a little bit more about what I'm writing today, I'm so excited. I'm gonna write it in Word and then maybe transfer it over to Scrivener, but I'm writing a short comedy scheme, scheme? sketch scene. Skin. <laughs> um and i had this idea come to me and i'm just i just think it's gonna be so much fun like i just want to have fun with this piece i think it's gonna be great and something that i've been doing recently if you've been watching my videos over the last i would say maybe i've been talking about maybe since last summer um or maybe the last maybe like five months or so doing more short form creative things because 
you come away feeling very, very accomplished. As someone who works primarily, I would say, so far I've worked in, I need to sneeze. <laughs> Bless me. Longer form um, writing and I love that. So novels and plays and all of that. Um, I love that and they take longer to execute because they're longer and larger pieces of work and I'm also finding joy in alongside the bigger projects that I'm working on so for example at the moment I'm working on my memoir um, taking a little bit of a break every now and then to do something shorter like writing a short scene for example writing poetry just smaller things which are still incredibly valuable obviously I'm not saying one is more important than the other but it's so satisfying to have something finished <laughs> like you work on it over a couple of days and you're done you know unlike a novel which you can be working on for for years not to say that some people you know people don't work on poems for a really long time or something like that but for me yeah like a short scene it's just like a shorter piece of time that i will you know spend on it which i quite like so that's what we're going to do now we're going to listen to some music i for some reason for some reason in my head i've had um, the Tide is High, is that, yeah, The Tide is High by Atomic Kitten. And so we're just gonna play that because I'm feeling it. I'm feeling those vibes. Let's do it. <laughs> the Tide is High. Yeah, because I feel like I never, ever get that. I'm gonna be your number one. Oh, I never heard that harmony before. Okay. Then I'm gonna be your number one. Get that feeling. Okay, in all seriousness, I need a name for a guy character. Trying to think of a name. Any suggestions? <laughs> Leave them in the description box down below. Lucas. 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 Ethan. Oh wow, the name Ethan really reminds me of a story I wrote. Jacob. Sebastian. Aiden. Oh. Ah, oh, I used to love the name Aiden. It's a very beautiful name. Samuel. Matthew. Joseph. Joseph. Bring a barbecue in, Joseph. Matteo. Matteo. That's a cute name. Matteo. Maybe Matteo. Hmm. Matteo. What do you think of Matteo? Hmm. We're calling him Matteo. Also, I met with one of my friends yesterday. I say met, not physically. But um, I asked him if he'd be interested in performing in this piece and he was like, yes, I'm so down for it. So I'm really excited and it means that I can almost write this role with him in mind. I'm not gonna try and do that too much because obviously I think it is good to be flexible just in case, you know, he's no longer able to do it or whatever. But it does make it a little bit easier for me. And it's only between, it's a scene between two people um and i'm thinking i'll play who i've named zoe the name might change but i quite like the name zoe um fun fact apparently i would have been called the other name my parents quite liked was zoe so if i wasn't nikki i could have been a zoe which is apparently the greek name for eve which i just googled so in the greek bible the name for eve would have been zoe i think that's fascinating um Anyway, so Zoe and Matteo love it, and it's basically a scene, um, it's, a, it's a breakup scene, but a breakup comedy scene, so how the breakup happens is quite funny. Um, Zoe and Matteo, there we go, we have our protagonist, but this makes it easier because I'm thinking I'll play Zoe again. I think the good thing about being both a writer and an actress is like, if you know you are writing for yourself, you know, like, you're literally like oh yeah i'd love to play that role or like i would love to say these kinds of things or um practice this accent or whatever and you can actually incorporate that into the script for yourself so that's what i'm doing with the scene i think it's going to be fun 
<laughs> we've only written like the introduction so far we'll go back and we'll clean it up later but we're just getting it down now so i'm glad they have names <laughs> i mean they're all going to be at the same place so <laughs> later noon oh my gosh just invented a whole word i meant to write late afternoon but somehow i put everything together and it says <laughs> later noon i love that that should be a word later noon So I have mostly finished the scene. I'm quite happy with it. Obviously I have to go back and like clean it up, but most of the story is there. It is the ending though. I'm trying to figure out how to end it because I've changed a few things, which means how I was previously gonna end it. Doesn't really work. I want a properly strong ending at the moment. It kind of just like, there's like all this funniness and then there's just like this line and it's like, no i feel like there needs to be an event that signifies the end of the sketch i'm trying to figure out what it is but anyway i'm going to compile it into a pdf and see how many pages it is i'm excited i really love writing comedy sketches um i have one i have a short comedy film that i wrote actually um on my youtube channel so i'll link it down below if you want to watch it and um yeah You'll have to let me know how you find it. I really liked that one. I really liked how it turned out. Um, and the performance were fantastic. And I just really love writing comedy. It's so funny because my whole life I've loved comedy, but I've never like fully allowed myself to be like, yeah, write co comedy scripts and stuff like that. So it's interesting. So um, I also don't have a name for this yet. I mean, I have a name, but it doesn't really make sense. It's kind of like a pun, but like in a really strange way. Unless we can make this fit. I'm trying to think now if that could help us with the ending. Hmm, I have a, I have a little think, I have a little think. Page, so one, two, three, four. Four pages, ooh, okay. That's a bit shorter than I thought it was. I thought it was gonna be five. Five would be perfect. But this ties, ties in with exactly what I'm saying about not having the ending yet, so. <laughs> What's the ending? All right, <laughs> time to go upstairs. I've been sitting here trying to figure out what it is with me right now. And I think it's just that I've been staring at the screen for too long. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, I'm about to do something that does not involve staring at a screen, so that will be great. I'm actually about to learn lines for something that I'm actually going to post here on YouTube, which is exciting. So you can see the behind the scenes before you see, before you see it. So let's go. Can I just take a moment to praise God again for my printer? Okay. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Because I say this quite often, if you are here in my um, um, living LA season in London vlog that I did last year, last summer, you will have seen the struggle with the printer okay so i'm just so happy yay <laughs> so i'm just gonna work on this monologue now it's pretty short um so i'll just learn the line super quick and then um i think i'm gonna record it today as well Fried rice for dinner. Can you see the smoke? The problem was when she. The problem was when she was. Problem was when she wasn't there. Uh, my mother struggling to say what she. Um, I'm trying to think. Like, okay, so I finished making notes. I never want to hear from people that actors don't work. Okay, don't even like the amount of just. Oh, it was so much fun. I love it. Um, 
doing research into character and figuring out what the scenario could be and it could be played so many different ways which is why I love this piece and I love acting and I just love interpretations but I found an interpretation I really like and I'm really hyped as you can tell like I was ready to be like just all cozy and like film this tomorrow but I'm kind of feeling motivated so maybe I'll film it tonight it's already 10 o'clock but why not um <laughs> why not indeed but yeah as you can see I've gone through my notes objectives given circumstances all of that amazing stuff just to really dig into this and it's so short but there's so much beauty in this there's so much um opportunity in this as an actress i'm very i'm very excited for it um so yeah that's what we're gonna do i didn't vlog it but i had a um i'd learned the majority of the lines i think there was like the final line or something and um basically um I had to stop. I didn't vlog it, but I was. I'm doing a mental health course with my church at the moment. They've put together a course on mental health with um, all these great, amazing people in the field of psychiatry and things like that. Um, it's really good. So yeah, we like watch a video and then we go into breakout rooms and just discuss it. And it's nice. And I think it's one of those things that will benefit also like in the future like I think I'll look back on my notes and be like oh yeah it's all coming together but at the moment I'm just kind of soaking in and just you know going along so that was really fun um and then yeah as you saw I sat down and went over the monologue I've learned all the lines now as well I kind of didn't vlog learning the lines mm. um but yeah so I think I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna go record it now I'm excited but first let me wash the dishes and then we'll go record let's camera action okay so you can be with me as i choose something to wear um so our character is so i am my character i am playing a 21 year old and um yeah so the scenario is that she is in a hospital so really it'd be like a hospital gown but i don't really have a hospital gown although i do have Hmm, so I've just had an idea has come to my mind. It's a bit cheeky. I'll talk you through it in a minute. We'll see. Um, so I quite like this top here, but the problem is I'm going to be playing against a white background, so I don't want to be wearing white on white. Um, so I think we'll leave that for now. Um, that is just too fancy. You don't want anything to, let me show you. You don't want anything too showy because of how it shows up in camera. So something like this with all these like um, ribbons would be quite distracting. Quite like this jumper because it's quite plain. I think quite muted tones for this character. Obviously these are a little bit too fancy schmancy. Same with this. Very bright. I love clothes with patterns man. I have so many pattern clothes. And then I have like my plain white shirts and like blazers and stuff like that. Ooh. so this again is too patterny but um more dresses this is very loud i was thinking about this i was gonna go with this but then i think this is actually a bit too professional let me tell you my cheeky idea okay so my cheeky idea is literally to wear this my dressing gown that you guys have seen me in quite a few times now if you've watched quite a few of these vlogs because it's very warm and very comfortable i think it might be too distracting because it's not like normal wear but i'm thinking because sorry she's been running um i think <laughs> because she is in a hospital you know sometimes like they have like morning gowns or like dressing gowns that you might be wearing obviously this is a quite like thick and luxurious one but I think it could be interesting. I don't know whether to, is that too cheeky? I don't know, I don't know. The morning coat was too luxurious and it also it would have been white on white. So literally it's just gonna be this casual, it's just gonna be this casual vest top and then just this hoodie, super simple, just like youthful, youthful vibes. So this is the setup, if you can see, um, let me just turn that light on, cool, there we go, so this is the setup, I might tilt the lights down as well, so 
we don't have any shadows. This is not what the setup always looks like because I don't actually always film against this particular wall. But yeah, the camera's gonna go here for this particular monologue. I'm gonna sit down. I quite like having this chair. Um, and then yeah, we'll get started. And so when I was scared, I used to think to myself, you can hold on a little longer, hmm? alone. And that I would need that door. I would have opened it the first day. <laughs> I never opened it. I'd really like to now. Hey! And that's a wrap done. So I think I have. Oh, I'm just going to wait for this to. There we go. So I think I have three takes. And when I finished the third one, I was like, yeah, that was it. It was the third one. And I just watched the second one back. And I really like the second one. So I'm going to upload them, watch them, choose one. And then it is 0005. It is five minutes past midnight. But your girl's awake. <laughs> your girl is so awake right now. Let's look at these videos. Let's look at these self. Well, these. Yeah, let's look at these self tapes.